Whenever you want to rock out, we get trip, you know. Well, there we go. Ayo. <laughs> One time for Ayo. the bad guy. Rest in peace, Scott Hall. I mean, hey, man. That's what it is. Like, that's... That's what it is. And that's just what's so crazy about it. Like in certain in certain aspects, bro, like I've been like up to date or kind of paying attention to the wrestling culture. But then in certain degrees, like like I don't know every single wrestler. But at the same time, at a certain point in my life, I was just watching the shit out of SmackDown and Raw. And you know what I mean? Like, so that was the same way. You know, it was up until uh, the Ben Wall murders and all that. And then I completely got right. off it and then i was just like all right i'm gonna watch this and that's where mma came along like combat sports but uh yeah so it's only been like in the last couple of years i got back into it now i'm like harder into it than i ever have been so here we are <laughs> no and that's what's up but yeah no i mean shit for real rp man it sucks like because i don't even it, it's it's it sucks when people pass away like because even within we're talking about this this gentleman who passed but it's, it just sucks that, like, uh, in that same breath, like, so many other people, quote-unquote, obviously everybody matters, but so many other notable people have passed even within that time of him passing until now. And we're, yep. that we're that's true. Shit, shit's real, bro, but it, it kind of makes you think, like, how are you, like, you, 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 you hope that people are strong and, and can, you know, like, take in these um, events and and not have it break them and they can progress and hopefully keep going through life and, and keep progressing and keep smiling and keep, you know what I mean? Like trying yeah. not to have it ruin them kind of thing. I'm but on the flip side, it, sorry. It, no, no, it's all good. I'm just saying it, it sucks, bro. Like that, that sometimes like we, we be out here. I feel like sometimes we don't truly realize how precious this, this shit is. And regardless of how people pass away, like, or, or, or whatever the case is like, it's like achieving what you want to achieve or striving and going out of your way to, to make sure you, you maximize every, every chance you get to achieve what you want to achieve. If that's your motivation or, or that's the type of life you're trying to live, I hope people really go out there and do that shit. But on the flip side, if you're just trying to chill and just, I want to go and find like a little job and just have a little humble experience and not necessarily try to necessarily be larger than life. I just want to make sure I can take care of myself. If you're on that flip side of that, do that shit too, bro. But just try to make sure it's something that you're you enjoy. Cause with this whole like era of comparison, it's different, man. And, and sometimes before we we get to the point of passing away, it's like we don't get to achieve and take care of the things we wanted to. Shit, and it sucks. It's like sometimes and sometimes people unfortunately get it seems they get robbed short, and it's like. Did they get to achieve what they really wanted to? And, and if they did, that's awesome. Like a, a million people knowing your name or whatever your case is, however you feel, whatever you feel success is to you. But I don't know, man. Or did they enjoy their time like in the spotlight yes. or enjoy like anything along the way to that? Or was it just like in some other cases, like a mask, like they're doing it, but they're doing it. And then behind all that, they're literally like losing everything. Like their whole personal life's going to shit. Like, <clears throat> pardon me. You're like you're uh, like they're they've got addictions or whatever. You know what I mean? Like the like the rise and fall of celebrities. You we can all we could track 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 it since the beginning of time, but still it's like it's still issues that haven't gotten any better really since since the beginning of time for that. It's fame is a weird thing like that for people, but like you said, it's all about like trying to just live whatever life you want to live frankly and just enjoying what time we have here because every day is a good every day above ground is a good day for the most part yeah and that's that's a, it's, a, it's a good way to approach it but it's a good way to approach it and and it's different too because people when because we're speaking of like when it, whether it's addiction or whether it's certain types of depression or whether it's and we kind of touched on that like the last episode but People don't want to make the hard decisions and ask themselves the hard questions and make the hard changes, which unfortunately in turn can lead to, and I'm not talking about 
scenarios where people might be hurt when they're a kid or whatever the case is and that traumatizes them and unfortunately as they get older these traumas grow xyz xyz i'm talking about people who they may have been inconvenienced a few times in life and it sucks because you don't know how people take things or how people react to things but what i mean is sometimes we use things to quote unquote cope opposed to attacking uh, uh, attacking the the subject at hand that needs to be addressed and it sucks because it's not it's not even about oh it's easier said than done it's more about looking at it like once we start doing like the hard things or making those hard decisions to combat these things that might inconvenience us bro people are going to start waking up and people are going to start feeling so much more like complete or like themselves and it's going to be amazing but it's hard to get to that point because for everyone it's different right like everyone has their different things that that cause them to have these inconveniences or these things that they need to shake free from you know quote well, unquote, it, oh, quote sorry unquote. it ties back into what you're saying earlier the age of comparison because it's like everyone else is posting their lives on social media for the most part, everyone else is posting their lives on social media and whatnot. Right. So you can see everyone like off, you know, fucking off to Greece or wherever, somewhere nice and doing everything there. And you're like, Oh, why that'd be, why isn't that me? Blah, blah, blah. blah. And it can rut people out, like put them still like further into the same uh, things they're doing. It can also inspire them to say, Hey, maybe I can do this too. If I can, you know, fix xyz in my life too it can that's be used both is. ways but that's what it is. Yep. at the end of the day you got to put the work in because you, it's nothing good is going to come easy like this like especially when it comes to like mental health and especially when it comes to like and just enjoyment frankly in your life and anything like that like people are lazy as fuck when it comes to putting in like for like lazy as fuck in general like as a lazy fuck i can say this but like lazy when it comes to their good times or like lazy when it comes to their entertainment you know what i mean like they just expect it to like be ready made for them or like oh there should be like this should all be like vibing already and i just come in here and enjoy this instead of bringing a vibe or bringing something to the table or creating their own fun like around here there's not much fun to create there's not pardon me there's not much fun to have sanctioned you know what i mean like unless you want to go to the bar or go to the strip club that's pretty much it man like if you want your own fun you have to go out and make your own fun so yep. like that's like we were saying before go out like hiking and stuff for that's how i made my own fun was just go out and just find crazy trails or just go out and sit in nature and stuff like that but things just even of that nature or just doing things with like groups of friends you have but like at the end of the day you got to put in that work to for and your own entertainment sake because otherwise you're just going to be bored as shit like just sitting watching youtube all day it really sucks after a while i guarantee you but that's because people don't want to actually quote unquote build and what i mean by that is we want to substitute all of our time for entertainment to sit and watch youtube all day when one can be out being productive or one can be out, one can be planning to like, for example, they have certain internet businesses as far as just like online stores and shit. Like, not that I'm advertising anybody, but I'll just use like Shopify for an example on like that subsidiary or whatever, or Facebook, where you can have like a little online store, have people buy products from you. And it costs, let's just say, cause I'm in Canada, it costs roughly, let's just say $30 Canadian let's just say it's plus stacks under $40 Canadian a month. Now, if you're somebody who burns the, the haze or whatever, motherfuckers can go out and buy a half quarter or a quarter of weed or whatever the case is, because it's legal in Canada. That's why I'm talking about it. But you can go out and buy a, a go to the dispensary and spend 50 bucks or 60 bucks you or whatever. More on every, less. Every, every two, every two months or whatever the case, I mean, every two weeks or every few days or whatever. And you're spending like four or 500 damn near dollars throughout the month or throughout a few months when you could have been had a business people don't want to make like i said people don't want to make the hard decisions bro and it's not about judgment because it's like people would rather stick on the whole like oh i'm comparing my life to somebody else's and because i don't have what they have what was me and it's like what and i'm not talking about the people who unfortunately are in like 
third world countries or don't have shoes or you know what I mean they're just born into unfortunate like poverty where they just can't even have a, a meal to eat I'm talking about people who are able-bodied conscious mind like you have a family who loves you you just don't want to make the sacrifice of entertainment or the sacrifice of eating the junk food or the sacrifice of going out to the club every weekend you don't want to put that shit aside to have a little extra money a month so that at the end of four or five months you can go to greece yourself yeah you might not be able to go as frequent as these motherfucking uh celebrities or whatever but it's not about that. If you want to go out and enjoy yourself and at least have a, a, a carefree, quote unquote, a carefree week, do that shit. But it's going to take a little dis- discipline and sacrifice. Bro, we have, in my opinion, we have the ability to do what we genuinely want to. Now, if it, turn, if it turns into, because people will say, yeah, but you got to be realistic. Or they'll say like, yo, get real. Or whatever whack-ass phrase they'll use to try to fucking. But then at the same time, it's like, you got again. It holds your. It, hold, it goes back to holding yourself That's accountable. Just, and, I think those and, people just say that to hold you back because they look at. They get too wrapped up in logistics of things. Like logistics are important. Don't get me wrong. You need to have those, but they're not the be all end all. You have to dream like outside of the logistics. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Because it's not even about the other side. As if it, like you have to choose one or the other. It's more about saying like, if people have already done it. One cannot say to someone else, you cannot achieve X, Y, Z, or, yo, get real. How are you going to really do that? Nah, man. It's like, if I have the will to do it and I actually plan and I, I'm doing the work, taking the steps, again, it might take you longer because you might not have X, Y, Z amount of capital to fund your business or to fund whatever, whatever. So you might have to work a one, two bullshit job and you're making the minimum wage. but you're choosing to sacrifice going out with the homies and burning up the piff and, 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 and twisting up the haze and all that other shit. You're choosing to take a break from that shit, save a little extra 200, $300 a month that you would have been spending on it. And then at the end of six months, okay, I got a nice little 1200. Let me, let me do X, Y, and Z with it. Or you save even longer and save like, or you, you, you wait more time and save even more. And then you say, okay, I can actually do this, but I can do it for even more. Uh, extended period of time it's just it's different man because it's 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 not always oh i have the worst mental health and i'm depressed and i want to hurt myself and because it's not always that it might be certain degrees of that or it might be certain like you have like a, a, a there's like a, a certain levels i guess to it but at the same time it's like people just sometimes don't want to just deal with reality Every night I go home, Trent, I got to fuck around and get three glasses of wine. And it's like, okay, but ask yourself, how come you have to grab the three glasses of wine? Like, it's not that you can't have them, but I'm saying, ask yourself, why are they needed? And if you are willing to ask yourself those hard questions, you're going to get some hard answers, but you'll at least be on the right step, in my opinion, or on the right steps or the right track towards figuring this shit out. Because if you don't need that three glasses of wine, AKA now you don't need to actually buy the box. Talking about need, not like wanting to enjoy yourself every now and then, but you don't need it, bro. Your mind's going to be clear. Da, 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 da. You start tackling more goals. It's a whole fucking step process cycle that can make your ass elevate. But sometimes it's so hard because it's like, I'm, I'm saying all that to say, we don't know when our fucking destiny is over, when our lives are going to be over. And, and, and motherfuckers act like we got forever, bro. That shit is why, it, like, you wake up and you just, oh, my God, I woke up before my alarm. Or, oh, my God, I woke up and I'm angry because uh, I might not have a job or I might not have a girlfriend or I might not have a this. And you're saying, and but there's so many more fucking reasons for you to be trying to feel good about yourself. But we want to focus on the one reasons why we don't kind of thing. Or not, not that we don't, we want to focus on them, like, because we're not focused on them to get rid of them. We're focusing on them to fucking keep ourselves down and shit. It just, I don't know. It's a weird cycle that we keep ourselves in, these inconveniences. Not that, I'm not talking about real traumas and somebody hurt you when you were a kid. I'm talking about just the inconveniences sometimes that one might feel. Like, you not having the newest fucking pair of shoes it shouldn't be the reason why you want to hurt yourself or fucking, you know what I mean? Like, but sometimes people face these things and it sucks. Cause again, I don't want to sound harsh and sensitive in any way, shape or form. 
I feel for people who genuinely have faced these me mental illnesses. I'm just saying, if we're willing to ask ourselves these hard ass questions and these realized questions, bro, I feel like motherfuckers will be able to really approach this life thing in a way that's going to make them feel fulfilled at the end of it. Just my it, opinion. Yeah, it, it's really all about like just trying to trying to maximize the happiness, right? And trying to find any way to do that. And by doing that, if it means you have to sacrifice a little stuff just so you can save up for trips, then that's what you got to do, right? So I don't know, man. It's it's something. Like it's it, it's definitely something. Like the bad parts. Uh, it's easier just to like shy away from the bad parts of life. A lot of people, myself included just do that because the bad parts you don't want to deal with you just wish they just go away sort of thing but they're not going to go away unless you're dealt they're dealt with Thanks. and and you're their only way you're going to deal with it is by doing the hard work and unfortunately that requires sacrifices at times and putting in time and effort into doing these things and 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 and, and, and so I don't know. You just got to get, it's just about putting effort into those. It's about wanting to put effort into those situations. Right. And to those like pursuits. Yeah, man. And those pursuits are so key because that's what makes life fulfilled. Pursuit of happiness. But, but you, yeah, man, whether it's your pursuit, yeah. Pursuit of happiness, pursuit of joy, pursuit of success. But yeah, even using that movie, like as a metaphor where you're saying to yourself, man, it seemed like all hope was long gone, but my man did not give up. It's like there's so much more to fight for or to make your or to live for, I should say, in life. And sometimes when we focus on these trifles and these extremely small things that inconvenience us and we allow them to just pile on, yes, eventually it's going to feel like as soon as you wake up, man, I got to deal with this. I got to deal with that. I got to deal with that. But once you start dealing, actually like dealing with the root of each thing one by one, you're eliminating quote unquote one by one, like your insecurities or at least the, the, the foundation of those insecurities. And then eventually any layers and things like that, that are still fucking remnants of it or, that are still left within you, like they'll eventually fade away. But once you eliminate that root of that insecurity or that reason why you feel down or whatever the case, reason why you choose to compare your life to somebody else's, even though that person you're comparing to that quote unquote celebrity, they, like you were saying before, they might not even be feeling the greatest. They might be facing their own uh, downfalls, unfortunately. Bro, we all have our flaws, but shit, I just, I don't want to have it where I, I, my journey ends and I'm like sitting there saying to myself, like, shit, well, was it, was it fulfilling? Like, did I live a full life? I was talking to my mom about this shit the other, or uh, last night or whatever on the phone, bro. I was just, and that kind of what sparked this whole conversation as far as, yeah, bro, like, I'm gonna spend my I'm gonna spend X amount of, of time, like this whole year of 2022, I'm gonna spend uh going to school and trying to educate my go to get my education elevated and all that stuff. But then it's like, do I wanna now say I'm getting into the medical field or whatever? Do I wanna now spend the next four years or five years or eight years or however long this these things take to get these degrees and different things like bachelors or whatever, masters, whatever. Am I really trying to do that right this second or am I trying to wait a little bit, enjoy life, travel, do all these different things that I've been doing or whatever, and then get into that, that field where I know I have to sacrifice and be disciplined for X amount of years. But like I was just saying to my mom, like, yo, I'm not trying to be out here just feeling like I'm overstressing myself and, and, and just putting myself in a situation where I'm adding stresses where I can just be enjoying my existence and, and elevating in different ways. Cause I don't know, there's just, there's more than one way to, to get to the finish line, so to speak, or to get to the destination. So I just, I, you know. I couldn't agree more, man. And comparison, and I'll say it once and I'll say it till the day the lightning falls. Comparison's the thief of joy. Like it really is. Like if you just sit and fixate on that comparison, you're really, it's not going to go anywhere, especially if it's to other, like towards other people and stuff like that. Um, what I have been like, I've, and we've talked about it before, but like comparing yourself to your former self is something, uh, much more 
I don't know, fulfilling of a pursuit maybe, um, as opposed to comparing yourself to other people. Like I recently found some old tweets that not like in a bad way, but like just found like some old tweets from like back in first year university and shit like that. Right. Who boy, they, uh, the cringe was pretty real. Um, but in the process of that, I also realized like how far I've come, like from not just that time, but going through like the first year, second year, third year, fourth, like I could see the progression of like, not only what I was doing and like where my head was at during that time, but just progression of like where I wanted to per- put my energies and what I was wanting to put out to the universe as far as like what, en- like what I was feeling at the time vibe wise. I don't know, man it's just seeing where you were at 18 to see where you are at 29 is hopefully, uh, I don't know. It, there's sometimes it's like, I look back on it. Like this was awesome. Like that was great. And then you see stuff like that. It's just like, Oh my God, what the hell was wrong with me? Like, <laughs> like I could have done so much more with that, but it, it's still like, if it should be a, like a bit of a cringe process, looking back at yourself being like, I've grown so much more from that time to now yeah man that's and that's big facts because it's funny i deleted my twitter a, a while like years ago man like it's 2022 probably like four years ago five years ago like i i like 2018 2019 i was just weird as far as just um but yeah i definitely went back and kind of viewed it before i like some of those tweets from like 2014 2012 2011 2009 bro because I, I was on that shit since 2009 bro september 2009 yo delete this. i think it was, I think it was in 2019 because I remember it was like 10 years or some shit. And I was just like, bro, I've been on this bitch since like Twitter was Twitter, like popping. Yeah. Was, Holy, see, that was before saying, me. Bro, the, the, the cringe was 100% real. But you were like, like, I was saying like flagrant shit. And I was just like, see, like, that's why. But not, not even flagrant, like dissing certain groups of people type flagrant. I mean, flagrant just in the sense of being like, um, certain women who you might feel attracted to or you might be saying like yo i want to do x y and z to x y and z and like then when you think about it like you're 16 17 or whatever but then when you think about it, you're like yo you can't be talking like this especially on the internet when like say you get to some level of success and people all people do is just dig back to your quote-unquote past and see like oh he said x y and z he's wild and let's try to cancel him or her or whatever right it's but seeing that growth, like you were saying, that shit is super key, man. It's, but it's, 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 it's cool because that's one thing that's kind of cool about social media is that if you did, were on there for 10 years, 12 years, whatever, you kind of have a storyline. You kind of get to see your evolution. You get to see where certain chapters started and where certain chapters ended and how they made you, you, and then you say to yourself, it's kind of scary too, because it's like, you're capturing these moments, but at the same time, it's like certain moments, like, I feel like certain moments, like they're to be kind of kept for yourself in certain regards. I agree. Like, I just, we put everything on there and it's scary to me, bro, because I, I, again, like when I was talking about flagrant, like you're saying certain, like you might be saying an address that you live at. Like, yo, man, house party at such and such and such. Like, you're 16 or 17 or 18 at the time or whatever. But then you're saying to yourself, bro, this shit's been on Facebook. No wonder the cops showed up. Or, or not, no, beyond that. But it's like, you 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 might be young and not thinking that that smart or whatever. And I'm just saying, like, or you might have a, 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 a back when it wasn't cool to be burning a, a, a joint or whatever. And you got a picture of you, you're in 12th grade or 11th grade or something, burning a joint at a high school party on your Facebook. And you're saying to yourself, bro, what type of nonsense was I doing? Not in the sense of the actual event, somebody, but in the sense of putting it on. Somebody I know had to that. purge basically most of his Instagram account because of that was half of it was just like him ripping bowls and just like nug pictures and whatnot. <laughs> like, bro, oh but man. That's what it turned, but see, but this is what I'm saying. And it's not like, oh, you weren't that person or that wasn't really who you are. It's more about looking at it like, you grow and you, and it sucks that because you still might be involved in X, Y, and Z, but just now you're not thinking about it from a standpoint of every time you get a new nug or you get a new different type of herb or whatever, let me put it on, uh, let me put it on uh, 
social media or like every time I see a political um, like view that I don't really agree with, I'm going to put it on social media that I don't agree with it. Like some people like they live and breathe for this type of shit. Like it, it makes me think like, for example, if you wake up and it's not even, oh, you, me, anyone in specific, I'm just saying some people, they wake up, bro. And the first thing they think is, yo, let me check Facebook. And not only that, they think like, yo, let me check Facebook, but yo, let me put some shit out there to my, my phrases. Now that phrase that I use is let me put my two pennies. Let me put my two pennies in that bitch. Let me put five my cents. two cents in that shit. Yeah. Like if, if you're five cents, Hey, Canada, we <laughs> lost our pennies. <laughs> but it, yeah. See, that's the thing. Oh yeah. We only got real. Yeah. We only got the nickel and above, but I guess that's why I'm saying, but that, I think that's why I'm saying the two pennies thing where I'm saying like, yo, we don't really got the type of shit that I'm trying to offer. Let me offer my two pennies. We don't really have that no more, which kind of makes it a rarity. If you have them, that's the people, a better way people, to look at it, frankly. I like that. I like bro, that. I'm a girl, but that's what it is. And it's like, if you have a little one, two little, a, a little gem that's, um, it's not really accessible anymore. When you decide to share it out, hopefully people take heed to it because, and it's not about, again, it's never me. I can only speak for me. It's never me saying my word is law or what I say is law. It's just, I'm just giving you my thoughts and my opinions on shit because, and I'm not saying it from a stance of be ever thinking I'm perfect or me having every single thing in life together. I'm saying it from a standpoint of the things that have been working for me, which we've expressed in previous episodes, the things that are working for me, I'm just expressing them to y'all and hopefully it can hopefully work for y'all too. If not, we go back to the drawing board, like I said before, but if it does work for you, that's what's up because you know, shit's real out here. And again, people think we have forever. And I'm not saying it in a morbid sense, like, Oh, you're going to die. You're going to die tomorrow. No, I'm saying just you do could. what you want to do. But, but in context, yeah, bro. Like you technically one technically could. And Been it's there a few times. Time. So yeah, you could. <laughs> I mean, even, but even beyond that, man, it's like, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about um, destiny. Like, when, like if people sometimes, if people fulfill their destiny or if they're cut, sometimes people are cut short before they fulfill it or were they, when we think they're cut short, was that actually when they were supposed to go? And they did actually fulfill what they were supposed to fulfill. And even though the, it might be super duper sad because, um, parents or whatever the case is if it's a child they might have lost a child or whatever it's unfortunately like the person on the podcast was saying unfortunately sometimes babies are born with like cancer or some type of condition that causes them to unfortunately pass away young and so it's not sometimes it is unfortunately the harsh act of randomness but he was saying to the people who do get to live to be like 50 60 100 whatever are you really you like are, are you really taking advantage of your time and going to fulfill your destiny and like it's kind of weird because even though i was on a podcast i was talking to my mom on the phone like i mentioned earlier a little like an hour or so before i even watched the podcast and she was saying something similar like she was like graham you got to go and be you like you can't like but it's not about the cliche of just saying be you she was saying like who you are like who i am apparently is someone who like, I, I like to speak life. I like to do things by action and, and like have people feel like they're more alive after they had an interaction with me. And then and not even on no type of vein or no type of I'm a this type, I'm a better than you type of person. No, but just, I like to let, remind people that, yo, like you are so much more than anyone can try to put you down from. Like, but, and it's not just on some cliche shit. It's like, I believe that shit. Otherwise I wouldn't be saying it. Like, I mean what I say. Otherwise I would not say it. Like, that's just me. And it's like, you want to, even with actions, you let people know how much they matter. Or you show them how much they matter. Like, and it's dope because it's never about saying like, <clears throat> you don't have your bad days, Trent, or you don't have your fucking days where you might be upset or whatever, or you might want to knock somebody out or whatever cases, but it's more about understanding you can, I can't be out here letting that shit, letting the evilness or letting the quote unquote demons get me where I'm just like trying to be a negative person when 
that shit's easy to do. Like from in my opinion, like being negative or being angry at the world or whatever, that shit's easy. Fuck the hard yeah. shit is the hard shit is understanding why that shit's happening and correcting it. That's the that's the real gangster shit. That's the real hard shit. Otherwise, it's like you're gonna stay in that cycle. And again, that's easy. It's very it, I get it. Sometimes it's our environments are just fucked fucked up and we are our back against the wall and that shit is tough. I'll never ever um I'll never ever hold you accountable for the environment you're placed in. But are you dope enough and 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 disciplined enough to try to fight and build yourself a little team and get yourself get yourselves out of that environment? Rise above it. Yeah, that's the real gangster shit. And it's amazing when you see that shit happen. But it takes time. No, you can't rush that shit. I know. Unfortunately, again, you're in a circumstance where you can't change it. It feels inevitable. I'm never. I'm never trying to doubt those people or feel or because again, you're already put in a scenario that's like you're 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 something that doesn't swim. And as soon as you're born, you're dropped into a, a fucking ocean or some shit and expected to survive. And then you make it to the fucking floating piece of debris and hold on to some shit and keep going on through the current. And somehow you make it to a bigger piece of debris and so on and so forth until you get to shore. You are a fucking survivor at that point and you can only be commended, but that's just, it's, it's all about how you view life, bro. If you can rise above it, if you can hold yourself accountable, if you can make sure you're constantly going forward, you're not always comparing yourself to motherfuckers, in my opinion, I think you're going to have a fulfilled life. That's just my opinion. It's, it all comes back to what we always talk about, like self-love and self, like self-worth. Like it's not just like, there's a meme I saw. It's like the strongest man, you know, like, like you don't pick up like a heavyweight, you pick up each other. Basically you pick up like your friends, you pick up the people like you interact with as best you can anyways. I don't know, man. That's just how I live now, how I live and how I want to be out here with just like checking people up, uplifting people. Hence why I have, hence why this, why I call my channel, why I could call it. Like, I'm just trying to uplift the scene. I'm in whatever I, the people I talk to, who, whatever they're into, like, I'm not trying to like, not trying to pass judgment, not trying to be anything on it. Just trying to understand and uplift. That's it. That's it. Oh, and that's the, that's the dope thing about it, man. Like, and I'm glad you found that, that quote unquote, that perspective, so to speak, because even whether it's, whether it's, whether it's through music that somebody shows you or whether it's through whatever, a lifestyle that somebody introduced you to or, or a, a video somebody might have showed you on YouTube. And then everybody sparks, brings something sparks, different yeah. to the table, man. And, and maybe they bring something to the same to the table, but they still bring something of their own creation to the table. That's all what I'm, I, I'm about that. Like, <laughs> that's all like especially like when like i said earlier about creating your own fun as long as everyone brings something like different or like to the table we can all enjoy it that's the thing man it's 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 dope man like i don't know i just trying to choose trying to choose the the the, the best possible outcomes because again it's not when motherfuckers listen to me and shit and like they might think like oh yo g g just be saying like some shit like He's just trying to uplift you, like similar to what you were saying. He's just trying to uplift you and, and, and speak life into you and, and un make you understand that, bro, you got to be hard in the paint as far as to face the certain shit and negative things that life might throw at you so that you can overcome them shits. That's unfortunately what it is. Um, it's that Rocky type shit where he's like, oh, you might get hit and you might get knocked down, but you got to fight and get, it matters how you get back up from it. All that type of shit. That's the type of bullshit that motherfuckers be on, bro. And you, that that David Goggins, my buddy, my buddy, my home, one of my closest homies was talking to me. I'm not gonna say his name or whatever, but it was uh, talking to me when he came and visited me and shit, uh, and was letting me know like, yeah, he's on his David Goggins shit, where it's just like, if you don't know who he is, like, yeah, bro, like Google him, YouTube him, like, just very inspirational, changed his life around. What I think he went, he joined into the, the the military in some form, one of the branches of the military, and just went hard body and just came out and keeps going. And he's just inspirational. Went on Joel Rogan podcast and talked to him about some his life and shit. Regardless, going above and beyond to discipline yourself to alter your destiny, alter your reality, so that you have no. There's no complaints. Of course, life negative things can happen in life still, but. 
you know that you're putting yourself in the best possible position to win, that shit is super command. Like you, you can only applaud that type of shit. And it's not about saying, well, hey, some people can't get to that. It's like, nah, bro. If you have a quote unquote sane mind, and what I mean by sane mind is if you have the ability to like you have that self-awareness where you can identify, hey, I need help. Okay, hey, I'm getting help. Okay, hey. My bad. You have the ability. Well, you have the ability to grow and and just and just and and all I'm saying is, man, you 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 make the quote unquote bed you lay in, and that's the simplest way I could put it. Uh, and 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 beyond that, I hope that people don't take that ever as uh, as me. Um, again, you ever trying to judge somebody or make somebody feel less than because they, or, or, oh, you're weak. No, because I'm flawed as fuck. Like, I know I am. I'm saying it from a standpoint of what's been working for me is I've been asking myself the hard questions, answering the hard questions, getting results and improving myself to shake that type of mentality so that I don't have to face certain things and deal with certain quote unquote insecurities. And I'm hoping that in certain ways you can navigate yourself and do that shit so that you are feeling your best. Cause I mean, that's what it's all about, right? W waking up, understanding like, yo, I'm living my best life on that little Duval shit. Just start grooving and dancing and shit because you're feeling like that. You're happy that there's the, Oh shit. I, I woke up. I got another day. Let's get it. Versus waking up and feeling like, Oh shit, I got to make it through another day. What you mean? Make it through another day. As if like, that's, like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit is an unfortunate part, view that some people have, unfortunately, right? That's just my opinion, though. Again, I'd rather you yeah, have man. the former than the latter. I'd rather you wake up grooving and dancing and shit, opposed to wake up feeling like, oh, how am I going to make it through today? That shit is those, very bad. Those wake up dancing days are definitely preferable. <laughs> yeah, like, bro. definitely. Any day of the week, I'd rather that than... Another one to get through. Yeah, bro. But I mean, it's one of those things again, bro. I, I again, I appreciate these conversations and, and to the people listening, like sometimes I might go on my little rant, Trent might go on his little rant, but it is what it is. I just, I appreciate the fuck out of these conversations because we get to express some of our thoughts to you guys. And again, in hopes that you, it, it, it's because it's not about no, this, this isn't necessarily a mental health podcast as far as like, but we are two people who we are real people who, yeah, I might be an artist and Trent might be an artist and in, 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 in doing his own thing and, and, and different type of editor and different type. But at the same time, we're people who love life or, or, or are at least learning to love life or I can always speak for myself. I love life. And I'm glad that I've got to this point and it's, it's dope to be able to share these types of things with people and hopefully they can get to a similar point where they view life the same, like not as me, but the same as far as just they have a joy and you know what I mean? They have appreciation and they're fucking just, you know, in their own realm of, of happiness, so to speak, you know, like Trent was saying earlier, their own pursuit of happiness. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to love life better these days. <laughs> some days are better than others. <laughs> yeah, man. And we have a, you have a right to feel, to have, to have quote unquote bad days, but to wake up and understand like, yo, I am so damn fortunate. Like for me to be able to be able-bodied, I'm, I can see, I can hear, I'm, I can walk around. I'm not, uh, or, or regardless of, even if you have, you don't have that set abilities. Nah, bro. If you can wake up and have breath, please understand you're very fortunate. Please understand that you have a, a re, at least a reason to, to see the bright side of things. And I hope you do. Just my opinion, you know. You're right. You're damn right. Every day about yeah, Brown's good day. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, I don't know about you, but you know, I, I'm good as far as like I don't have anything else I want to attack, you know. But you You'll know, get this last bit of sunlight for today. <laughs> yeah, facts. Big facts. If you're if you're anyone, if, if you, it's a sunny day while you're watching this or listening to this, after you're done watching this and listening to this, please like, share, subscribe. And then take your ass outside and enjoy that shit. Like get yes. some sunlight, get some sunlight, right? Like, but um, <laughs> with that being said, to the people listening, my name is Graham. I'm Trent, and uh, this is another episode of Ultra Fly Talk. We 
really, we really appreciate you fucking with us. We appreciate you listening, you know, and thank you for listening. Take Always. care.